Lovely shot. Well played. Good. Shot. Good batting, mate. Mate, we've seen 10, 12 balls and you've got the ability. It's, it's, so I don't, I'm not a big believer in ta talent. I think that there's a, there's an element of natural ability, like movement, but you're a good batter because you've practiced. Yeah. It's, it's now how far you go in the game is how hard you work, how smart you work, and about, about trying to perform at your best, yeah. like learning to perform at your best, which is this. Yeah. So hard work and trying to get better every day and every week, as I said, working on your technique, but working on all six pillars of success that we talk about, technique, tactical, mental, emotional, physical, and lifestyle. Little things that all add up to the big success. Yeah. So you've got the ability, you're obviously putting in the work. It's now just trying to create a, a framework that will allow you to relax and trust yourself and play like you've just done for 10 balls here where you're just seeing it and hitting it and moving really well mm. compared to, <gasps> yeah. yeah, 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 we'll keep working on it. Okay, that to me, you're in a nice position, but technically it's risky. I'd rather you be defending to mid off. Yeah. yeah? That's more likely where you're going to edge it. You're playing soft, which is excellent, but I want you to defend that straighter. Yeah. Shot, boy. Solid. That's a beautiful position, mate. That, again, nice position, but I want it a bit straighter. So fundamentally, you want to be blocking that strata. Then, in a game, if there's a gap and you want to go really soft and roll it, you can go square for a single. But just getting good habits of lining it up a bit straighter. Well played. Why'd it go in the air? Very good. Good understanding. Yep. Weight was back. Weight back, bottom hand pushes. So look, technically, there's little things that can be better, and there always, always will be. Yeah. Um, in his final sort of season, I was used to hit with Adam Voges in here. Mm -hmm. He was, he'd finished test cricket. He averaged 60 in test cricket, one of the best players in Australia, mm -hmm. and he was still making mistakes with his technique. Mm -hmm. Like, Sean Marsh hits with Bobby in here, like, he still makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, so you're never gonna perfect batting but we're trying to minimize them and have a game where when we make our mistakes they're low risk yeah. they're not high risk so if you sort of like get a ball straight and you're coming across it and you make a mistake it's high risk because you'll probably get it out mm. but if you're coming through and you just sort of you miss it, it might be you get an inside edge that's an example of minimizing risk yeah. your biggest thing your biggest area of improvement for your results is just gonna be how you approach the game. Yeah. And the, the story you tell yourself leading into game day and on game day about what it means and about, like I think the biggest thing that's been holding you back is you're so scared of failing mm. and then that just causes you to fail. Yeah. So it's like, imagine we're at the bottom of a mountain, you're trying to get to the top of the mountain, that's where the runs are. Mm. That's where the accolades are, or the, the performances, the picking in the next level, etc. Yeah. And you're trying so hard to get there that you're filling up the backpack, you can't get up there. And if you can just let go of getting there, mm. just let it go and say, if I put in the work, I'll get there. Yeah. Then you've almost, there's a lift, there's an elevator over there that like you can walk over, press the button, you'll get up there. Yeah. But you won't see that elevator if, I have that. if, you, if you're like living in like how desperate you are. So you've got to sort of like learn and change the story of you'll get there if you just get your process right. Yep. And then on game day, it's still process. Mm. It's not outcome. Mm. It's winning every ball, one ball at a time. Yep. Then the runs will come. Mm -hmm. But it's going into the game calm, being okay with getting out, being okay with failing, failing. Yep. I, I do that because it's not a failure if we keep going. Yep. Yeah? We only fail if we give up. Yeah. In, in batting, there's a really common saying that we generally have more bad days than good days. Because mm. it's so bloody hard. Yeah. There's so many things. You've got to try and be the best you can be. 
then we're playing on a wicket that we have no control over. We don't have any control over our teammate who sometimes runs us out. The bowler can beat you sometimes. They can bowl good balls. The umpire can sometimes. There's so many things against us doing well in a game. Yeah. We've got to accept that and then let go of the outcome because that's where our, your best cricket will be. Mm -hmm. He's just saying, I'm going to try and be my best. That's all I can do. Yeah. That's something that really helped me when I was younger. I read Tim Cahill, the soccer player's autobiography, and he said that before every game, he would say to himself, I'm ready, whatever happens, happens. And he said that some days the outcome would be great, he'd score the match winner, and other days he might miss a penalty. Mm. But he would just dust himself and say, okay, that's life. If you're desperate to do well every time you perform, you're, only, you're setting yourself up for failure because it's not possible. Yeah. Coley gets ducks. Williamson, Root, Smith, they all make lots of mistakes. Mm -hmm. they, then the best players don't not fail. They just make their good days great days and they're a little bit more consistent. Mm. So I feel like if we were to say, right, you're going to have 15 innings this year yeah. in under-17s, yeah. you're probably going to get five scores under 10. Mm. You're, you, hopefully you'll get five scores between 10 and 35. And hopefully, if it all goes really well, you'll get, you won't get anything between 35 and 60, but you'll get five scores, 60 to 150. Mm. You'll turn those good days into great days. Mm. But if you sort of look at it like that, yeah. when you do nick off second ball in round one, you go, that's okay, yeah. that's okay. Rather than nick off round one and go, oh no, it's happening again. Yeah. I'm no good. And you start really doubting yourself and you, you walk out to bat the second week and you're like, oh, don't stuff up again. Yeah. Don't stuff up again. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You can relate to that, can't you? Yeah. So it's, it's re, re sort of defining what the story is and what the game is. Yeah. I've been saying this to a lot of people lately that if I was to, if you were a little boy coming to me for the first time, I've got a three-year-old daughter and if she starts to play cricket, the first thing I'm going to say to her, and the first thing I'd say to you if you're little boy is, batting is fucking hard. Yes. <laughs> it's fucking hard. Yep. You're going to struggle a lot. That's okay. Just keep trying to practice and get better. Yep. Keep trying to learn and get better. You're going to have really good days. You're going to have really t tough days. Mm. You're going to have periods where you're not scoring many runs. Mm -hmm. But the best players, they go through that. They just find a way. They problem solve and they get out of it. Yep. And when they get out of it, they make a good period a great period. So it's, it's not that you're, like what you went through last year will happen again yeah. at some point. Mm -hmm. But hopefully it doesn't last a whole season, it only lasts four innings. And you can problem solve. Like David Warner is one of Australia's greatest ever cricketers, batters. Mm -hmm. But he, went, he averaged nine in the Ashes two years ago. Yeah. He, couldn't, he just couldn't score runs. The, the bowling was incredible mm -hmm. and they worked him out and he, could, he didn't problem solve quickly enough and he just kept making mistakes. But, he then came back to Australia. I think he then went to the IPL, got the most runs in the IPL, came out to Australia, got a triple hundred in a test match. And everyone knows he struggled in that series, but he's still known as one of the great players. He's got 25 test hundreds. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're allowed to go through tough periods. It yeah. happens. Yeah. But you've got to accept that. Because if you can accept that, you'll let go a bit of the desperation to do well. Mm. And if you're desperate to do well, you're batting in that straight jacket or that back packet where, where you just don't have freedom. Mm. If you're going to fully, in the nets, right, if I throw you, like just then, throw you a cut shot or a cover drive, you fully commit. Yeah. And like you did hit one in the air with cover drive, but it's like, oh, well, hit it in the air, weight was back, next ball. Mm. In a game, if you do that, you're so, you'd be too scared of doing that, so you wouldn't commit. The next ball. You wouldn't commit to doing that. Yeah. And that's when you hold yourself back. So you've got to be willing to make mistakes, willing to get out to be able to do it. Mm. If you're too scared of getting out, you're never gonna play that shot. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think it's a really, you've got to put in the work so that you can trust it. You, mm. There's a great saying I heard in a book once, like train it, then trust it. Mm. You can't trust it if you've just sat on the couch all week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't, yeah. like you can try and fake it, but you can only really trust it if you've actually practiced, yeah. put in the work. So, as I said, a lot is about putting in the hours in the nets and learning as you go. I think it's really exciting for me because it sounds like you know, I said, what happened there? I leant back, hit bottom hand through. Awesome, you understand. Most people don't understand what went wrong. So then you know that's the problem. 
what's the solution? The solution is to get my head forward and left side. Yeah. So you've got to focus on, for that one that you hit in the air, you want to probably hit 100 underarms yeah. where you get it right. Because yeah. then you can start trusting it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I hit one in the air, but I hit 100 right. I'm backing my chances. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But if you don't go away and fix that, well, then the last cover drive you played was in the air. I wouldn't trust it. Mm. So you've got to see that problem, find the solution, and work on the, getting it right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. There's a lot of info there. Is there any questions? Mm, not really. Mainly covered what I was doing wrong, which actually helps a lot. Because when I go to the games, I don't really think really in my head that I'm failing, but inside, I'm doubting myself. Mm. Like, um, Why are you doubting yourself? I'm just worried about the next. Why? What are you scared of? Are you letting someone down? Not really. Are you letting your dad down? No. Are you letting your coach down? What are you, what are you scared of? Not sure? So why do you put so much pressure on yourself? Because you're putting this expectation on and pressure I've got to do well, and you... I think, I think I am scared of getting dropped down. Why? Because of bad performances. Why? Why are you scared of it? Is your identity tied up to your cricket? So if you don't stop playing cricket tomorrow, you'd still be a normal, like you'd still have self-worth? Yeah. Awesome. Because a lot of good sports people, they say, I'm a cricketer. And if they're not a cricketer, they're nobody. So they tie their whole identity up to that thing they do, whether it's cricket or footy or whatever. Yeah. And if cricket goes bad, their whole self-worth drops. Mm. So why, if you say that my identity is not tied up, why, is it, why are you scared of getting dropped down? Is it your ego? I don't really have an ego. So why are you scared of getting dropped down? What's the, what's the fear? I really shouldn't have fear, should I? But, well, when, we're, when I'm asking you, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to get to the root of it. Like, why are you scared of getting dropped down? What, is it that you'll feel embarrassed? Yeah, I think... Is no, it you wanna, feel rejected? I want to I wanna look good in front of the club, look good in front why? of my dad. Why? What does look good mean? Like... That you're successful? Yeah. Why? You want to be loved? Not exactly. Not exactly like that. And you have anything? It's, it, it's a deep, I'm going deep here. Yeah. I'm going, I'm not asking you surface, I'm going deep. Like why does, I'm trying to say why does it matter so much when you go out and back? Because you don't want to get dropped down, okay? Because you've gone deeper, you've said because you want to look good for your dad and for the club. What does looking good have to do with life? I mean, I do want to be, I do want to be one of the best, yep. but I do doubt myself. So I'm, I don't like I before when I was younger, all I wanted to be was a cricketer. Yep. As I got older, I, I started thinking differently. Why? Because you're doubting yourself, or do you still want to be a cricketer in in your heart? Yes, in my heart, I want to be a cricketer. Well, don't don't give that up then. Yeah. You should be. You're good enough. Yeah. I've seen a lot of cricketers. You've got the ability. But ability only gets you so far. Yeah. Like I've had two of the WA's best young cricketers in here today, Teague and Marley. But I think they'll both be incredible players. But time will tell. Yeah. At 17 and 16, you never know. Mm. They could go off the rails. They could get injured. Anything can happen. The time will tell. Like yeah. if, and if you're willing to put in the work and get good people around you and, and work on all of the six pillars, anything's possible. Yeah. So I would say, I, I, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, tell me if I'm wrong, that you want to be a cricketer, but you're giving yourself an out if you're not good enough. Yeah, definitely. So I, I would encourage you, don't give yourself that out yet. Chase it. Because mm. you're good enough, chase it. Yeah. So it sounds like to me, you're desperate to do well, because you want to be the best, you want to you be successful. So you're scared of failing, and, but then beneath that, you're scared of letting people down who are investing in you. Yeah. But I think that you're not letting them down if you're putting in the effort. That's the only thing that matters is effort. Results yeah. will look after themselves. And if you're good enough, you'll do well. Yeah. 
Like I was nearly good enough. I played three years as a professional, but I wasn't good enough to stay there. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. Because my effort was there. I, I put in the effort. Yeah. I chased my dreams though. I moved from Alice Springs when I was 18 to Perth, then I moved to London when I was 20, and then I got a professional contract. If I'd stayed in Alice Springs, I would never, I wouldn't be here doing something I love. Mm. I would never, have, I would have just been in my comfort zone, and I would be bitter and like, oh, what if? Mm. But I chased it, and I'm, I'm okay with the fact that I didn't make it for a long time. Like I would made it for a little time, but I didn't play much first class. I'm okay with that. So I would rather you get to there where you're like, I tried, but I wasn't good. I'm okay with that than get to 28 and go, fuck, I was pretty good at 15. I just gave up too early. But you're not letting people down if you're putting in the effort. Yeah. I think you let people down when you become lazy and complacent. That's when you let people down. That's when you look at yourself in the mirror and you know you're cheating yourself. But if you're looking yourself in the mirror and go, I'm fucking doing everything I can here. The results aren't going my way right now, but I'm going to come out of this better. Yeah. I'm going to learn from it and get better. Because that's what the best players do. They're constantly learning and getting better. Every experience, training, games, every ball they're learning. Because every ball is a new contest. Mm. Like, it's like this is the first time you've ever faced me on a sidearm in here on today. When you go to Frio training next, it's the first time on that day, on that wicket, you face that ball. Like Every contest is new. There's lots of similarities. But every contest is a new, fresh contest. So the best players have a, a mindset of just trying to learn and, and get better mm. and not judge themselves too much. Because we, like as humans, we do judge ourselves a lot. So if you hit a good shot, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm a good player. Next ball, you nick off, you're like, oh, I'm a bad player. You can relate to that, can't yeah. you? It's because you're judging yourself. We've got to let go of that judgment and live in curiosity. Why did I nick that? Why was I that a good shot? Because that's how you'll improve quicker. Yeah. Not putting a label on it, or well, good or bad, that doesn't help you. It makes you feel good or it makes you feel shit, but we don't want to live on a, an emotional roller coaster. Mm. Oh, I hit a four, I'm the best player in the world. Yeah. Okay, I, I played and missed. Oh, I'm the worst player in the world. Because that's what you've been living on, most people live on, is this roller coaster. And you get drained so quickly, and it's not sustainable. Yeah. The best players are level. They hit a cover drive before. Deep breath, next ball. They play and miss. They think about maybe why. Next ball. They live in the moment. Mm. But they're not like, I think the big thing out of this is A, chase your dreams, man. Like, if you, you've got the ability, don't give up at 16. Don't give yourself an out and then get lazy because you've got that out over there. Go after it. And if at 20 you're not good enough, well then go and do something else. Or at 22 you're not good enough, you've got another 80 years ahead of you. You're gonna live to your 100. But don't give up at 15 or 16. Yeah. And if you're not good enough, well, then you say, I wasn't good enough. And then two is, you're not letting anybody down if you're putting in the effort. Mm. The results will come and go. Two years ago, Josh Philippi was left out of the WA um, one day final team. He was 12th man, he was filthy. He called me. We had a conversation, it was like, mate, you can't control this. All you can control now is putting your energy into the big bash coming up. He was filthy. The two years that have gone by, he's won. He was big bash player of the year. He was big bash team of the year the year before. He's just got his first 100 yesterday. Like, but he had every single player who's, we look at on TV and we admire, they've all been through what you've been through many times. They just continue to learn and get better and, and continue to train themselves to be a little bit better. Yeah. But they just, they also learn that the game's hard and they can move on quicker. I don't reckon last year you were moving on quickly. You'd get out and it'd be, it'd ruin your whole week and then the next week you'd be tense, you'd get out, same process, you'd be even more weighed down. Mm. We want to get, we, exactly, it builds up and then you're like, where's my next run coming from? Rather than just sort of getting out there and hitting the ball, playing with some freedom. So I think that a big thing is like, the only thing that matters is effort. Results will look after themselves if you're putting in the effort. Does that make sense? Yeah. How does that make you feel? What do, what do you think about all that? Yeah, it, it gives me a lot of clarity now because there's a lot of things that I could see that I was worrying about which I shouldn't have been. Like I could be thinking about the ball now and then letting go of it and then the next ball. But then I would be thinking about that previous ball over and over again, even once I get home. Mm. I would still be worrying about that. How Can't I control it. Tonight, 
Yeah. Can't control it. Yeah. So you've got to become someone who can let go. Yeah. Good or bad, you just learn, let go. Mm. And if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. You learn, you let go. Yeah. You can't change it. The only thing you can change is the now. Yeah? Yep. Yeah.